Well, good morning. Uh, we're here on the blue floor at Pierce. I'm Pat Ekus, Fire Chief with the City of Taylor, and I want to introduce you to our new Pierce 105 Velocity. Uh, this is the first custom apparatus that the City of Taylor has purchased. Um, we have an apparatus committee that worked hard, uh, probably about a year and a half, to develop the specifications and to produce what you see today through the assistance of certainly the sales team here at Pierce, uh, but also Siddons Martin in Texas. Uh, just a couple of features on the truck. We, of course, introduced our new paint scheme um, to the to the fleet with the black over the red, which is certainly a popular uh, color. Well, the uh, the interior we believe offers a considerable amount of room, much more room than what we currently have. Uh, our fleet is total pierced today, but the Velocity offers uh, several cubic feet more storage space and, and uh, passenger room as well as driver room. We did add the amber doors to, or the amber lights to each of the entry doors, which gives an added level of protection to our firefighters upon entering and exiting the vehicle. And then in the back of the vehicle, we've uh, incorporated an EMS cabinet. We're an EMS first responding department and uh, we have the needs to store the uh, med bags and things like that as well as our battery chargers, radio chargers, things like that to be located in that area. And then we also did something we think is fairly unique in the, the LED light in the center of the cab which illuminates the interior of the cab really beyond measure. We elected to go ahead and place uh, compartment doors on every compartment, including the crossway. Our department carries on pre-connect one, 150 foot of inch and three quarter, pre-connect two, 200 foot of two inch hose, and then pre-connect three is 250 foot of two and a half inch hose. All that's pre-connected. We have uh, backboard storage and then we'll have irons and flashlights located in this area. The uh, pot, of course, offers us the opportunity to clean up the area where the apparatus operator is operating. We're excited about that. This is the first time we've utilized this design in our department. Certainly the front panel has a very clean design. Uh, we will mount the radio head here uh, this evening and that will give us the capability for the apparatus operator to change channel, monitor several channels, and use wireless headsets to do that. We have the apparatus operator department for their gear, uh, all their tools, things like that will be stored in here as well as their air pack. And then, of course, the slide out doors for additional storage. Tremendous amount of additional storage down the uh, action side of the vehicle with roll out trays, out and downs. Our high rise loads will be stored in uh, this compartment for easy and quick access. And we also have, of course, extinguisher storage uh, on this side as well as SCBA storage. Our rescue tools, which are battery operated, will be mounted in this compartment with a slide out tray and then a down and out for the cribbing. Probably going to have another fixed compartment or a fixed shelf here. Certainly, we're able to do that here today, describe to the plant what we need to, to uh, make the truck usable and perfect for us. Uh, we moved the switches here on the back. Just uh, instead of doing it on the back wall, we like to go here on the side wall for easy access for a driver or for a firefighter to turn these lights off if they do so inside. Uh, 105 foot aerial. Uh, we did put the LED lighting, run, run lighting on the truck, as well as the, the that's in blue and then on the tip, the last five feet are of course in red. Uh, but we're excited to have an aerial uh, of this length. Uh, storage here. And then of course in the back, this is where we'll have 300 foot of three inch uh, in a flat lay. And then some additional hand tools down on this slide out tray. Uh, tremendous amount of space here that we're very excited about being able to utilize. The uh, rear chute works for the, uh, the five inch hose. We're carrying a thousand foot of five inch hose, so we'll have easy access as well as great access on the top for loading it. Backup camera, of course. Then uh, on this side, we, we've dedicated a well, the traffic cones. So 
a 15 traffic cone can stack in this compartment, easy access for the apparatus operator or for the firefighter to deploy those and supply, provide the scene safety. Um, our saws will be mounted in this location, we carry two chainsaws, the K-12, and then of course several implements to that. This compartment, uh, we're not we're not really sure what we're going to do with it yet. It's great to have that additional, uh, as we said, real estate so that we can uh, plan as we go. And then, of course, uh, the same as on the other side, our tool board, which will allow us three sides of uh, storage or mounting for some face, the back side, and then, of course, the back wall. A large fan will go here and then tarps and uh, roofing material so that we can, can uh, secure the house or the structure. We've got an electrical reel here which we're excited about with all twist lock connections. A very clean, clean way that Pierce did that for us. And then additional electric fan will be here, a little giant and of course some additional storage. And as we showed on the other side, again, we have the same amount of storage uh, here that we're We'll have the hand lights and the irons next to our crossways, so easy access for our firefighters. Uh, again, uh, we believe that the velocity affords us a tremendous amount of uh, space inside the cab, and we're excited, the company officers are excited about the additional space that they will have. Uh, this has been a great, great, great experience uh, working with Pierce and with Sims Martin. The City of Taylor is proud to be a Pierce customer and we thank you for spending time with us today.